side plank pull. I'm gonna show with the band first and then without the band. With the band is ideal. If you have a mini band, uh, sorry, a super band. I don't wanna mess up the mic here. So, you're gonna get into a side plank, elbow side plank. Make sure that you're not too far over your elbow, nor are you too far under your elbow. I'll show it from this. From this angle, right? You don't wanna be like this or like this. You wanna have your forearm or your upper arm be vertical. So that way you can press hard into the elbow, engage with the ground, and lift your whole body like that. Instead of being down like this with your ear and your shoulder really close to each other, and you're twisting through your hips, the front one, or sorry, the bottom one is sliding back. You gotta use your leg first to get this side plank. Do that. Engage with the ground, feel the lift. Boom, so now you're in a side plank. <clears throat> there it is. And the shoulder lines up with this band. And then you're gonna pull the band. Don't let your hips kick back. Keep your abs and your glutes engaged. And do the row. So much great work happening with the bottom shoulder, the uh, side core muscles, internal, external, little obliques on both sides, your lats, and um, like the big muscles in your upper back. If you don't have a band, then you can do the same motion. And you'll get a lot of the same stuff out of it. You're still controlling your posture while your weight, there's a weight shift. You're reaching and then you're pulling. You're still getting the engagement in the upper back. You're still getting all the work of the side plank itself. Terrific exercise.